Hello and welcome back to Introduction to Astronomy. Uh, today you are going to do the lab on planetary formation. So this is lab number five. So you're going to go to Canvas and then Modules and then Labs and then it's going to be lab number two. Okay, and then when you open up that document down at the bottom click on the tab that says planetary formation and it's going to be lab number five so I'm going to walk you through this beginning with the pre-lab questions and it might be a good idea if you would go to your notes in lecture and review the formation of the solar system before we begin with this So you did it? Okay, good. So question number one, what's the purpose of the lab? So you can fill that in. What are the safety instructions? So you can fill that in. Go down to question number three. So it says put in the correct order the following events which led to the formation of the solar system. So in the first column, which says order, Think about the, the steps in the formation of the solar system which are listed next to it. So you got step A, step B, step C. So which of those steps was the first step in the formation of the solar system? They are not in the correct order. So the answer is the collapse of the gas cloud. So you could either put the letter B in the first blank or you could actually write the word collapse of the gas cloud in that spot there. And then you're going to find what was the second thing that happened in the formation of the solar system and so forth. Okay, don't bother with the second column for explanation yet. So now let's go down to question number four. So it says to give a short definition for each of the following concepts. So what is conservation of linear momentum? Write a short sentence explaining what conservation of linear momentum is. And then do the same thing for angular momentum, density, electrostatic attraction, uh, heat conduction, heat of sublimation, gravity, uh, and centripetal force. So there's quite a few things there and all of those are involved in the formation of the solar system. So it's important that you understand each of those concepts. Okay, then once you have done that, then you're going to go back up to question number three again and you're going to fill in under the explanation. So you, you should have already filled in the first blank which was that the collapse of the gas cloud. So what caused the collapse of the gas cloud? It was gravity. So in the first blank, in the second column, you're going to write the word gravity or you could write the letter that went with gravity for that. Alright, so that's the pre-lab. Okay, now we're going to go down to the lab itself and you'll notice under materials used that there are quite a few things that you're going to need for this lab. Now we're going to adapt the lab so that you should be able to do it at your house. So uh, don't worry about all of these uh, uh, materials. So we're going to adapt it so that you should be able to do it. All right, we're going to, first we're going to go down to procedure. And the first thing that happens is the formation of the disk. So you're beginning with this gas cloud and somehow this gas cloud is going to turn into a disk. So this is what experiment one is going to show. Okay, first you got to get out your three-foot walk. Oh, you don't have a three-foot walk? Really? Okay, so 
don't don't go out and buy a three foot walk for this one okay all you got to do is get a couple of tennis balls or any two balls as long as they're the same size now what you're gonna do is roll on the ground a tennis ball in this direction okay then at the same time that you roll this tennis ball this way roll the other tennis ball this way and then watch what happens when they collide what direction do they go after the collision now what does this got to do with the formation of the disk so originally you had particles of dust and gas that were rotating like this at an angle and then you had other dust and gas that was rotating like this okay but after they collided then something happened to that dust and that gas and again go back to your notes to see what happens okay so that is experiment number one so I'm gonna stop the tape here and when we come back we'll go to the second experiment.